Okay, fam, we're gonna dig into your back here. So, bent over row, for those of you who haven't done it before, I'm gonna show you an example here on the bench. Hand on the bench, same leg, knee on the bench, back nice and straight. Your arm, left arm's gonna hang down and you're gonna pull out. When we squeeze in, we wanna squeeze the left shoulder blade into the right one. Like imagine you're squeezing a pencil on your spine. And like I've said in all of our exercises, this is not about moving weight. It's about doing the movement properly and then finding a weight that matches where you are. When you do it properly, your weights will increase, your strength will improve. Do it wrong, trying to match someone else, not gonna get strong as fast and you might actually injure yourself. So, back nice and straight. I'm gonna show you, that was variation one. Variation two is now we have a dumbbell, squeeze in, nice and smooth. You'll do 10 reps, squeeze that shoulder blade in, a little pause. Version number three, now we're gonna pull it in, gonna drop the weight, gonna catch it. All the way in, drop it, catch it. So I'm making the dynamic accent of catching the weight be a response time that's loading the muscle as it's chasing the dumbbell. Back straight, boom. The next exercise in this series is lat pull downs. Now a lot of you may not have a lat pull down machine. Well, in this case, neither do we. So here's what we're gonna do. Set of dumbbells. I've got a pad here just to give myself a little comfort because, you know, it is kind of good to have some comfort. Dumbbells fully extended up. Now I'm going to pull down. When I pull down, I'm going to drive my squeeze, my shoulder back to the other one. Boom, straight up. This one we're going to do 10 per side. Getting some shoulder work and squeeze that shoulder blade. Now I'm gonna spin around, I'm gonna show you what this looks like from behind. Bum, bum, bum. So, very important that we're coming down here and squeezing in, squeezing in. So, with the weights, it looks something like this. In, squeeze. Drive it up. Drive it up, nice and smooth. And I can feel this in my back. I'll do one more on the side. Now this is a challenging move. It's only 20 pounds I'm using. But because I'm moving it effectively, I really feel it in there. So, like the bent over rows, do 10, maybe 12 reps per side. Um, 60 to 90 second break, three sets. Then we're gonna go on to the last exercise in this sequence. So, let's go check that one out now. Okay fam, those of you who know, know. Dead hangs. Dead hangs is a fundamentally critical, important move. It's easy peasy, you can do it anywhere on this planet, from a tree, from a branch, broomstick, I don't know, wedge it in somewhere. You can do this anywhere. We've got an amazing rig. Your goal, your goal standard, is to be able to do this for two minutes without a break, for all three sets. However long you go, that's how much rest you will have. So if I can hang for nine seconds, that's all I got today, which is fine. If that's all I got, that's all I got. Then I rest for nine, I go right back in. If I can hold for two minutes, hold for two, rest for two. This is an exercise that is, we call this step one, phase one of doing pull-ups. It's incredible at building grip strength, forearm strength, shoulder stability, back, so many different variations, but so much good value. And literally, hang, pick your feet up, and you hold. And I'd like to see you focus on getting one minute, I mean, kind of minimum. I'm gonna go for say 20, 25 seconds, and just let yourself hang. And you'll find as you get deeper into the second, third set, you may not be able to hold as long, which is fine. Work on these. You can literally do these every day. Yeah, yeah, every day. So I'm gonna hold this. So you're gonna hold this minute, shoot for a minute. I don't know how long that's been, 25, 30 seconds, whatever. Um, these are incredibly important to do. So get locked into these. Do all three of these exercises. Remember, this is not a circuit. 
you're doing the first, the, the, the rows, whichever variation you're at, uh, 10 reps per side, minute to minute and a half break, three sets, move on, next exercise, the pull downs with the scapular or the shoulder blade retraction, again, 10, maybe 12 reps per side, 60, 90 second break in between, and then these bad boys here, however long you hold, that's how long you rest. Like always, drop your comments, your questions down below. Let us know when you're using these exercises, how you're doing, how they're helping your game, how they're impacting you as a player. And uh, you know, for 26 years, we've been in your corner. We aren't leaving anytime soon. So if you need anything, that's what we're here for. Reach out, we're happy to help. Um, until then, go get to work.